Hello and welcome back to In The Christmas Kitchen with Pen. And today I'm going to be showing you a couple of different ways of making your pigs in blankets. Now, if you buy your pigs in blankets, fine, ready made, but generally they're about, what, that big? Yeah, not very big at all, are they? and quite often they can be a really cheap and nasty sausage so i make my own and i use chipolatas i either buy them from the butchers or buy a good quality one from a supermarket these are from sainsbury's they're their taste the difference pork chipolatas and they are gluten free when it comes to bacon it should be a streaky bacon that you use but again, the bacon that you use will make all the difference. I use a dry cured streaky bacon because you know sometimes when you cook bacon you get all this white coming out of it. Well, that's water. So a dried cured streaky bacon, you're not going to get that. So come on down, let's have a quick squeeze at how we do this. Well, first off, we want to stretch our bacon because you really don't need a whole rash. We well, can have it if you want, but you don't need it. So there's my rasher of bacon and I'm just going to use the back of my knife and I'm just going to stretch the bacon out. Why do I do this? Because it's something my mum always did. And let's be fair, mums know best. So now I've made it almost twice as long, haven't I? So then I'm gonna cut it in half. And the first little difference I'm gonna show you is to put a sage leaf in with your sausage, or next to your sausage. And then you just wrap your bacon around. Now, You may actually look at these sausages like Right, the first thing I'm going to do is to stretch my bacon out a bit using the back of a knife. I'm just going to go along and just pull it out just literally by using the back of the knife. Now you might say, mm, why are you doing that? Do you know the honest answer? Because my mum did. So that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do with these ones is I'm going to put a sage leaf next to my sausage and then we are going to wrap around. Now um, I'm leaving the fattiest bit of the bacon on the outside so that it gets it should get well crisped up. I'm not putting it so it's on the inside like so. So I'm going to do because I've got 12 sausages here I'm going to do four of these and I'll be back. Right, that's my four wrapped in sage and bacon. Now, another traditional accompaniment with your turkey is cranberry, I've got my hand over it, cranberry sauce. So, I do make my own cranberry sauce, but for this, the jarred is perfect. So I've just dipped my spoon, my spoon, it's not a spoon, my pastry brush into the cranberry sauce and I'm just going to paint just a little cranberry on the sausage and then we're going to wrap. And yes, this one is a little bit more messy. Wait till I get to the next one. But it's worth it. So one. And two. There we go. And the same as last time, I'm going to finish and come back. And now, just to add a little bit of a kick, because what goes nice? Sausage and mustard. And I'm using an English mustard. I'm not going to paint a lot on because as you know English mustard 
can be quite strong. So there we go. And we're just going to wrap once again our sausage. Oops, a daisy. Bendy sausage. Mind you, a bend in your sausage when it's cooked usually means it's a decent sausage. So, one. It's just a hint. You don't want it blowing your head off, okay? Well, you might, but I certainly don't want it blowing my head off. And just wrap around so that the majority of your sausage gets covered in the bacon. Right, we'll be back. Right, that's our sausages, our pigs in blankets, prepared, ready for Christmas. We have our mustard, our cranberry sauce and our sage. Now, you don't have to add anything. You can just wrap them in the bacon and they're fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. But as I've said, get a decent dry cured bacon and a nice sausage that's a meaty sausage. Because to be honest, I could have a plate of these and I'd be well happy. So what I will do is, because I'm in advance, these will be vac packed, they will be frozen. Um, if you make them, you can make them a couple of weeks before, the month before, in the month leading up to Christmas. Um, bag them, get rid of as much air as possible, freeze them, or you could make them on Christmas Eve and just put them on a tray, cover loosely with a little bit of cling film or foil and pop them in your fridge. Get them out, again, 20 minutes before you want to cook them and for frozen get them out the night before and bring them out of the fridge again 20 minutes before you want to cook into a hot oven about 180 190 for probably 20 minutes so there we go pigs in blankets ready for christmas a feast fit for a king thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye. If you'd like to see more of what we get up to in the kitchen, click here. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click here. And obviously, don't forget to tick that ding a ling. Stand there. That ding a ling. <laughs>